Well, good morning everyone. Uh, another glorious day again. So, Carol and I are going to do a few odds and jobs uh, inside again, flooring, etc. Uh, and then we're going to get out in the sunshine and do some more gardening. Uh, again, something we need to get on top of before the growth really does kick in. Uh, but a few people have written in and asking us about the, showing us more of the outside the chateau, um, particularly the entranceway. So uh, I'll do that this morning and see if I can get Beth to add that to the video uh, tonight. And then we're going to go and start, well, we're going to see if we can uncover the gates that we started on down in the field and uh, hopefully uh, see what's going on down there. All right, so everyone's seen the drive where we come in. We have the uh, gorgeous coach house at the end. Um, but this is the first part of the chateau, the eastern side of the chateau that gets the gorgeous morning sunshine. Um, so the steps is everyone, uh, we've shown the railings that uh, Carol is working on and still working on and bit by bit we'll get there. This at the bottom behind the olive tree is the entrance down into the cab, the cellar. But at the moment I've just blocked that off so that there's no entrance way. But eventually I'll get round and sort out some doors and reinstate that. Uh, it'll be a lot easier for us than going in and out through the kitchen, which is through those doors there. So that's the original kitchen, uh, which I use as my uh, workshop for the moment. And then uh, as we go up, we have one more window here, which is the hallway between the bedroom and the family bathroom which we just stated which the only room that has a bath in it actually now um, so that's there and then up into the towers there is two bedrooms up there actually in those towers there but none of them have any form of light from this side so it's just the windows in fact I put the windows in those doors uh, last year but otherwise there's no light at all this side really apart from what you see there so we'll carry on down the driveway and obviously in the main entrance if I come and stand right back here I can probably explain then what we have here right so to the uh, uh, the cellar downstairs, which I had to rinse. We didn't have any; they're all open, so I put new windows in um, along the bottom there. The far end, so there is a hallway in the cellar that goes all the whole length actually, almost of the chateau. And at that end, the far end is actually where there was actually a wine cellar. I'll show the cellar in a better video later on, but uh, not with this one. So starting at this end, we have what we call the utility room. Nothing done, nothing in there. We've got a sink in there and the washing machine, dishwasher, but other than that. Then we have the long hallway from the main entrance in, which I'll show in a minute, because we've cleared that out now, and what a difference, but uh, we'll get to that later. Then we have at the far end, the stairway, which takes you right up to uh, all, all the floors. So there we go, that's the uh, north side, the main entrance to the uh, chateau. Right, so that is the window there for the temporary kitchen I've done, which will then eventually be called, uh, will become our snug room, just for lounging around, etc. And then one more window, which is uh, Beth's en suite, uh, is there. Okay, it gets glorious afternoon sunshine, in fact, it gets very warm in that room. And then you can see the difference, I'm hoping you can see the difference between the two roofs. So we've had a brand new, or previously had a brand new roof put on this side. And on this side, you can still see the, uh, I think they're the ladder hooks, which we don't have on the other side because everyone uses cherry pickers nowadays. But back in those days, brave men just uh, tie it and then put their ladders on the hooks you won't get me doing that that's for sure so there we go there's the, uh, the three sides that I probably haven't properly shown of the chateau
feel so strong. <laughs> that was a compliment, darling. Thank you, darling. How's it going, darling? <laughs> yeah, it goes alright, isn't it? <laughs> it looks like a penis. Looks like you... I'm fishing for something. You cleaning out the penises? <laughs> you know, we've got a willy wash for that. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I know where there is a willy washer. Um, I think we're there actually. I think we've got to the live stuff that's killed. And. Oh, I can't see no treasure. Oh, he wants Mr. Tractor. Maybe he'll help us out. Now that would be handy, wouldn't it? Good old farmers. They're so friendly over here. But if he'd stopped, it would have helped. Uh... Day. Yeah, and some noisy buggers ruining it. Right, so eventually cleared. Um, can't really clear much more of that tree. It's annoying. Is uh, I'm worried that eventually growth it will push that post away, but I can't get in any more now. Um, see if I can borrow something off a, a farmer. Uh, I have to give that some thought. The, the, the other reason I was going to show you um, here is uh, obviously you've seen the gates, but there is such a height difference um, from the road when they originally probably had an entranceway and that must come up a good meter I reckon. Now I wanted to get rid of these gates and really open up and make it a lot nicer but they are well and truly underneath so um, without a lot of manual labour with a spade. Um, again, see if I can uh, persuade uh, someone around here with a mini digger and see if we can get in there and take a lot of that out. Uh, but till then, it's not really doing any harm, so we'll just leave it alone and move on to the next project. Well, there goes Carol. Uh, not sure she's working or having fun. So we put this with the lawnmower, the tractor, we call a line just to give us an idea of the uh, driveway when we ever get around to doing it. But I think Carol now wants to put the driveway a different direction. Um, so you see the one that goes down to the uh, gate push right at the bottom, which I think works well. So she's taking that. But then we're going to try another track, or well, she's going to try another track will go down to the left of this clump most of the way down the field so she'll go really at 90 degree angle to the chateau I'm not convinced it were but the problem is then when she gets to the bottom she'll have to do a sharp right to come across to the dryer uh, the entrance way to the field because I don't think we'll get planning permission to have the entrance anywhere but where the existing one is but uh, we'll have a look later just to see how it looks Fun. I made a new road. Yeah, I was telling everyone that you were uh, doing the existing one as a driveway and then you were going to try a new one. Sully's still doing the railings. Oh my god, how many flipping coats of paint did they put on this? Typical thing, isn't it? It's like the wallpaper and just add wallpaper on top of wallpaper. So uh, I think I've counted five or six coats at the moment of different paints, but uh, we're getting there slowly. Uh, the next Sunday afternoon challenge. Carol's going to clear all of this. She's fed up with looking out the chateau window. No so, uh, yeah, you can do it, your muscles. Can you yeah. stack it up over there on top of my other ones? I'm exhausted. 
three exhausted. What have you done? She's having to think about that one. So let's, yeah, let's move the rubble of logs. You moved the rubble of Oh, thanks. Logs. Eventually, I'll actually. Cover the bollards so we can see what shape the arch is. And then you can rebuild the arch. I'll spend an hour. There's a deal. I'll spend an hour clearing this up for you. And then um, I'll go for a run. But that was successful this morning. I moved to that bit. There you go. I'm just, unfortunately our field is now starting to take off. You can tell spring's arrived, suddenly, boosh, growth is in. Show my hair don't grow like that. Right, let's get on with it. So Adrian cleared some of the logs and put the longer ones to one side because he wants to get on with the building of Stonehenge. Yeah. How's Stonehenge going? <laughs> well, like, how's your bag? So it's times like this, I wish we had some uh, mini diggers and boys with their toys. Unfortunately, it's all manual labour. Um, right, but I'm gonna have to lift that on there. Good luck. Yeah, something like that. We have got a photo of the original archway. Yeah, it's not really yeah. showing us a great deal, to be honest. Yeah. is going to be a big beast. Not 100% sure going in the right direction, but and they're not the easiest things to lift up, but um, at least now we can sort of see a, a gate coming on. Um, it's a matter of, fortunately, it's a matter of playing around with them, but the weight of them, they're not easiest to keep. No, that one goes out. Oh no, let's try it over there. So once it goes up, it stays. That's not staying like that. No, I'm sure it's not, darling. But what we will do is, uh, or we, we won't be doing, is putting a roof on it because I can't lift them that high. But I think it'll be a nice feature just to have an entrance way. And then we'll, the originally, which looks like, uh, unless you've already mentioned this cow, the wall, then from there, there is a wall that carries on over how far it would have gone up there, I don't know. It's about three foot. Is that all it is? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. So it's just a feature. Okay. So uh, maybe we can do the same thing and. Uh, Maybe do a, a small wall going over this way. But um, it's better than a pile of uh, granite, isn't it? It's still a pile of granite. Oh, hang on. Give us a chance. It's not looking that bad, is it? I didn't say it wasn't. <laughs> it's not a pile of granite. You've done a marvellous job, darling. Well done. Yeah, I'm just going to go and see a back therapist now. So now I'm going to go in, uh, have a drink, and um, sit down and watch the Bahrain Grand Prix now. Bye-bye. <laughs>